really, we've hit the post, hit the crossbar. So, really, fantastic performance. I would have settled for a point before we came, but, you know, we should have really won. But it is what it is. On to the next one. Well, I thought I'd start the day by seeing what sort of reception the city's coach got when it arrived. And I was stood where all their fans were. It seems they came in another way. <laughs> Let's hope the city outwit them on the field as well as off the field today. This is Anfield, of course, and I've got to say that down the years, years ago, I didn't mind coming here, but it's changed so much. The atmosphere is toxic. It's a horrible place to come as an away fan. Uh, but obviously, what happens on the field is the only thing that matters today. Although win, lose or draw, it won't make any difference to me. It's still great to be a blue. So let's see what people are thinking ahead of this one. And just before I start talking to the fans here, on Friday I was hosting the, the Blues in Business lunch, which we have every three months. And former city chairman David Bernstein, who has a new book out, we were really there, uh, was talking to me about his book a little bit, about his connection to the club, and then what he thought would happen today. Here he is. Oh boy, it's been, it's been a central focal point of my life, really, from when I was a kid, as a fan for many, many decades, and to become chairman was like a dream, I never, I never expected it, it was a bonus in life, really, and uh, you know, I was chairman for five years, we did what we did, and I was so thrilled that the club has gone from strength to unbelievable strength, so um, yeah, it's been a, been a very important part of my life. Treble winners last year. Liverpool on Sunday as we're chatting now. What do you think? I, I hate to predict individual matches. You know, Liverpool are a very fine side. Uh, we should be the favourites, I think, still in any match we play. But, you know, it'll be a tough game. I was asked about the United match uh, on, on radio last Sunday before the match. And I said, forget about three or four goals. If it win by a goal, I'll be very happy. As long as we have the win. And if this applies with Liverpool. If we get the win, I'd be very happy indeed. It won't be easy. I know we spoke in Jeddah, and yeah. I know that you were putting your video up again before this game. Yeah, yeah. Because you're very determined to prove that this matters as much to City fans as Liverpool fans. I, I'd, not, I'd not really prove it, because you don't need to prove it to anyone. We all know what it means to us. And uh, just Trent's uh, comments was just a laughable, really. I was just laughing and just kept laughing and... Uh, Obviously, I kept thinking about the moment we had in uh, Saudi and uh, then I thought, you know what, I'm going to put it on and obviously clipped it from YouTube and put it on and, uh, and, and yeah, just, just, it wasn't really to prove it, it was just to make people aware that, you know, it does mean a lot and uh, I think the comments that they've made all week is not just disrespectful to us as a club, um, yeah. but I think it's disrespectful to the other 92 and every other club in the, in the, in the world, really. Um, they were these to tell us, you know, these billionaire footballers or millionaire footballers, should I say, tell us how we feel about anything, winning it, winning it. So, uh, yeah, it was more for that, really. And uh, just wound, not just us up, but it wound everyone up. Like, I think you saw it on uh, the Nottingham Forest fan who tweeted, you know, I just hope you win today because, you know, just to prove them that them, them like, it matters to everyone, not just uh, City fans or Liverpool fans, you know, just disrespectful all over. Well said. You have my respect. <laughs> Thanks, Cheesy. Um, not the Blues. This is my dad anyway. He's not, I am he's actually, not, yeah. yeah. I'm not he, dead. <laughs> he's not dead. It, way, the way I said it in Saudi, it made it out like he was dead. Yeah. But he was just at the shop buying the club shop like uh, Jurgen Klopp does there. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, hopefully we win today. I don't think you've ever seen us win here, have you? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't. I keep coming every, every year hoping. I do feel quietly confident. I don't, think, I don't know whether we'll win, but... I do think we will probably get some sort of result, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not dead, I, I am here. And uh, it, when we watched it back and I thought, look, it sounds like, de like I'm dead. And uh, you know, my wife said, you know, Niall's mum said the same, it sounds like your, your dad's dead. But no, but we do know a few pe few City fans that have passed away, that's probably why we do get emotional about it. Cause like you say, we are getting older, we all think we're 25 and 18 again in the 80s, but it's not, it's 2025 and football's changed. A lot of us don't like it. You know, a lot of older fans who want to go back to Main Road and dog shit alley and stuff like that, you know what I mean? St stepping round it, getting into the old Kipax. But it's different now. There's a lot more tourists, every club. You know, there's so much money. Football's changed. It's not the same game we fell in love with, but we still love our team and you'll never take that away from us. So. 
I don't want to start getting emotional now. You might have to do me after the game if you win. All right, so up the Blues. It matters a great deal today, and I think the way that we're playing at the moment, that we can really beat them today. I've gone for 3-1 today. I think Ireland will score the first goal, and I think we'll beat them 3-1. I'm really, really confident today. Something I've not done for a long, long time coming to Anfield, but today I'm really, really confident that I think we're going to be on top of them. What do you think of the when you come here as a, as a fan? Because I don't enjoy coming here. Um, I don't mean because I'm frightened of losing, I just mean as, the as intensity long in the, of the yeah, anger. As a long in the two supporter, I've never liked coming here. It's always been one of these grounds where we've never done well enough. And going back to the Mahrez penalty when we could have won the game and he ballooned it over the bar. And Elka, when we won here, last, I think that was maybe the last time, I don't know. But it's never been a happy hunting ground for us, really. And I'm more thinking of the intensity of the support. It's not a nice place to come as a football fan, is it? It's not, because um, they've got away with too much over the years, really. I think so, you know. I mean, we've got English fans banned from Europe. I know we shouldn't be saying it, but I just think it's all wrong that, you know, they've got away with it for so long. And the press think they're so different to every to every other club. And they're not. They're not because they're, they're the fans that have got teams banned from Europe years ago. No, it's not a nice thing to say, but it's the truth. And the truth needs to come out, and people need to tell the truth, not hide behind Liverpool FC, the Red, the red Sox, you know what I mean? So, that's my opinion anyway. Enjoy the game. Yeah, I will do it. Uh, today, I think, um, I think City win today. Um, the team that they put out today, um, we've got full strength, they've got quite a few injuries. Uh, and I think, I think we'll win today, Cheesy. A lot of people come here expecting, because of the record of City over the years, not to get a positive result. Yet you're pretty confident, are you? Yeah, yeah. I, I still, still think it'll be a tight game. You know, we're at Anfield here, you don't tend to get decisions. Um, but uh, I don't think we'll have a better chance today. With their line-up, Salah on the bench, we're going fully strong today. I, I think we'll do it. A tight 2-1 win, Cheesy. Our team has uh, got confidence, it's got ability, got experience, they're lacking a few players, match fitness, I'm feeling it today. I'm going to break the new game. This is record here, is it great though? No, it's not, it's not, we struggle. We struggle with fans, we struggle with our fans, but hey, today's the day, mate, honestly, feeling it today. Honestly, positive. Good. Liverpool to me look like they're a real proper team this year, so they're going to be a problem. Um, and the only thing, Ian, that I would, and I always throw this into the mix, and that is, could, could Man City handle three or four bad injuries at this time? I know they've had uh, Kevin De Bruyne out. I know Harlem was out for some time. I know other players are out, but at this moment in time, they seem to be flying. Um, but if Foden picks up a six-week injury, if if uh, Haaland has another period, and, and even Kevin De Bruyne, would they be able to handle that? And I'll tell you why I say that is because Liverpool have. Liverpool have been decimated by injuries. In fact, against Chelsea, they were playing a lot of young players and they still beat Chelsea. So that's the only thing that I can see if it goes that way, can City handle it? Other than that, you're confident they can win it? 
just got to be careful. We're giving the ball away a little bit too much. So, uh, but still, could have scored. Walker had a great opportunity to put a, maybe a little bit of a softer pass in. But uh, overall, I'm delighted. Overall, delighted. Come on, sister. So second point out of here at the end of the day, second half, we dropped off, um, but we hit the post, good chance for Doku, so my second point at the end of the day, even though I said we'd win 3-1 at the beginning, I take a point. There was a period when they were threatening to overrun City, weren't they? Yeah, 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 they were, they, they, they got on top of us a little bit, but I'm saying that, they didn't have any great chances really, you know, a lot of this match in the box and everything. But I don't know what happened with us second half. We slackened off, went to sleep, whatever, I don't know. But like I say, a point's a point at the end of the day, so it's better than nothing. I'll take a point there, you know what I mean? We've not won here with fans since 2003. I've never seen us win here, Jesus, I'll take that. COVID, you know what I mean? Whole first half, I thought we're going to win this. Second half, they've absolutely pumped us. And I thought they're going to get a winner here. It kept coming, kept coming. Doku's hit the post in the end. We'll take a point. Could win us a league in the end. So. We'll take that, Cheesy. All the blues. The what was the difference in the second half then? I don't know. I don't know if we come out of that, that mistake for medicine. I mean, it is a penalty that you suck him out, but I mean, we'll build on that, Cheesy. Up oh, the blues. blues, come on. I think we invited them to play football today. What's that, sir? We, we, the team sheet came out today and we should have won that game. That was a time chance. 20 years. You know what I mean? 20 years we've not won over fans and that was a chance. They've got no Gerard, no Henderson, but they've got a leader. We should have won that today. I think we invited them on. Come and play football and we let them into it. Silly mistake from us, but we need to win that. We're better than them. We're better than them. We're better than Arsenal. We're better than everyone. I think we just get scared when we come here. Still confident we'll win the league then? One point. One point. We were eight on Easter Sunday behind United. We were how many behind them lot with three games to go? We're Man City. First half, I thought we were excellent. Really controlled the game really well. Uh, limited them to very few opportunities. Second half, we got to shoot ourselves in the foot within two minutes of the start. And then it's, to be fair to them, a couple of years ago, we'd have crumbled there. And we, we've held on and, and produced, really, we've hit the post, hit the crossbar. So, really, fantastic performance. I would have settled for a point before we came, but, you know, we should have really won, but it is what it is. On to the next one. They were there for the taking, do you know what I mean? Like, Pep must have gone in at our time going, right, keep it at keep it at last thing, don't concede after 10 minutes. And then he, he plays that suicide, and now we might have lost Edison as well. So I thought we coped with the counter-attack quite well, which has been our bit of a weakness over the last few weeks. Uh, and we could have nicked it there when hit the bar and post. So yeah, I would have took the point before the game, but seeing them and like not not having a full strength, they were there for the taking. I'm a little bit gutted, but we're still gonna win four in a row. Yes. So that's the story with the fans here in Anfield of uh, City's one-all draw with Liverpool. And as many fans were saying there, a draw before the game would have been great, wouldn't it? So uh, not too much despondency as fans leave here. Alone. Like a missed opportunity. A uh, big shout out and thanks to MonsterInTheFenceLawyers.com, who obviously are one of my sponsors, Kenway Miller sponsors. Uh, also to RRG Group, who supply me now and again with cars and magnificent Toyota Rochdale, a brilliant, brilliant depot. Go there and have a look at uh, cars. I recommend Toyota very highly. Uh, so obviously thanks to them and also to Timson. So thanks for watching. Make sure you watch uh, the next one, which is Newcastle United in the FA Cup. Audio podcast this week is with Nicholas Jensen, from a City player, of course, reflecting on this particular game and looking ahead to Newcastle. Uh, so, win, lose or draw, I said before the game, it's great to be a blue and it's still great to be a blue.